Welcome to Singapore, the pearl of the Oriental East. In this video, we're gonna go explore its streets, its beats, its tasty treats, and show you all of the travel cheats that you need to know when exploring this magical place. Alrighty, we have arrived here. It's humid, it's hot. You can see why they say it's one of the world's best airports. It's chic, it's shining, and they are friendly places all around. Let's go to immigration. Now Singapore allows visa entries for up to 30 and 90 days from many places around the world. Check the link in the description to find out more. This must be the largest fan I've seen in my life. Singapore can get really hot and humid and most of the year and the rainy season usually occurs at the end of the year. So make sure that you pack accordingly. Time here to stay hydrated, I guess. Okay, oh, here's my train. Getting around Singapore is pretty easy. You can get the MRT metro system all around the island. You can get the bus. You can get grab on your cell phone for taxis. And if all comes to worst, you can get a bike in the middle of the night and cycle wherever you need to go. Let's just turn here. No! Oh. How's it? To always get a SIM card with data sorted out before you travel any big cosmopolitan city. We're about to enter my hotel at a place called the HM Led Cantonment Hotel near Chinatown. Show you around. You have arrived. Thank you very much, GPS. So this is what it looks like. It's like a nice little communal area and there's a kitchenette here. And beer on tap. Now, Singapore is not the most affordable destination in the world, but if you look long and hard enough, you'll find some good specials around the city. Look at staying at Backpackers in Chinatown. There's a lot of different options there. And I'll leave a couple of different options for you to look at in the description. But everyone here speaks fluent English, especially the younger population. The older population, not so much. So you can get away with some Mandarin, but the younger population uh, definitely speaks a lot more fluent English. Singapore is also a melting pot of various different delicacies from around the world in one city where you can get them at hawker centers or you can even go to a place called Little India with many lovely restaurants all around. Now we're going to go visit an urban farm as we are migrating to a more sustainable city design. I think it's a very important aspect in our day-to-day -day lives and so we just gotta go find it. All right, so we're just out here on this rooftop garden. And um, there aren't exactly any food plants here. I might be mistaken, but let me go and try and speak to this man and see if they do any hydroponics. Or... I'm gonna go catch a train. I'm gonna head downtown, try and see what is different in the downtown areas as opposed to a lot of the mainstream tourist sites that I've been seeing over here. alive as I thought it was. <laughs> the door and entrance is locked and uh, there aren't many plants growing here. So. After looking everywhere in the city, I eventually found it on top of this rooftop next to what kind of looks like a UFO. It's all solar powered and the irrigation is all centrally controlled, all in one location and this food goes all around to the various restaurants um, nearby to it. So that was really cool to experience and see. All kinds of plants. We've got basil, we've got mint, ones I haven't heard of. Herbs and plants in urban environments. They've got a central irrigation system from which all of the nutrients are then delivered to. Uh, I'm really impressed what can be done in city environments. Many roofs and skyscrapers in the world that just don't make use of creativity and benefits that an urban farm can really have in a city environment. And uh, I hope the garden here just continues to thrive.
All right, so we're now exploring the nightlife of Singapore. <laughs> yeah, overall, it's absolutely <laughs> pumping. So let's go see what we can find. Goodbye, wonderful hotel room. It's time to go. Oh, I'm heading back to the airport. Just had a nice day at the hostel here uh, in Chinatown. Also had some local food I'm on the street corner over here. And uh, very much looking forward to the next leg of this journey, which is the Wild Atlantic Bull. Overall, a really good start to my adventures here in the east okay so i'm now off to a place called the jewel look at this man honestly this is just a marvel of architecture here in singapore i'm really flabbergasted by this and real peak yeah what a great way to round things off here and um, yeah i'm gonna go to terminal one now Try and find my ah terminal one. Singapore, you have been amazing. Yo! All in all, Singapore was an amazing destination to travel to, but often at times it's not about the destination, it's the people that you meet along the way, the stories you encounter, and all of the various memories you make with people and experience alongside them that really make it count. It is. is it going online or what? Yeah, I'll put this on YouTube maybe. Oh my god. <laughs> right then, now it's time for the next city, Kuala Lumpur. Thank you for watching this video guys. I'm really enjoying editing all of these memories that I had and made um, while I was traveling. And I'm gonna try and make these videos as helpful to you as possible um, if you decide to go travel to this part of the world. And I'm gonna leave tons of links in the descriptions that will be helpful towards budgeting towards these sort of trips, what sort of applications you need. And um, let me know if you enjoyed the video, any thoughts, ideas, and comments really, really help. And if you hit that subscribe button and the like button, you'll, you'll definitely get more in the future. So I hope I can provide you with as much um, travel value as possible. Um, it was my first time traveling in all, all of these places. And I just want to give to you um, something that I wish I saw before going to the, this part of the world. So... The next video is Kuala Lumpur and then after that I'll go north into Thailand, into Laos, into Vietnam and uh, I hope you enjoy all of the videos that are going to come in the future. So stay tuned for more. Cheers!